Hi, Jay, We're back here with the KSL system, uh, Bonneville, Salt Lake City. So we've already sort of dismantled one of the studios. We turned the hardware off in the studio. We've turned the switch off in the studio. As I said earlier, we've duplicated this studio and switch scenario all the way through the facility, from the traffic to the south prod to the talk studio to the north production. And now we have got the TOC. TOC is going to house the engineering switch and the second f the floor switch, uh, which is a 3560, 3650 here and a 3850 here. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of just trying to reboot my blades, as I said before, we have the variables of the boot time between a 3560, 3650, and 3850. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to walk around and unplug everything. And then I'm going to walk around and systematically just sort of plug stuff in and we'll watch and see how long an entire system takes to come up from a complete power down. So follow me around and I'll un unplug some of these. So we've got this rack here, this rack, this rack, turn that off, uh, turn this guy off. Yeah, I'll come here, this guy, turn off. And it's dark, dark, this guy's on. I think I see myself control, unplug this table. And everything's dark. So the entire system's dark. And instead of going in order, I'll just sort of... I'll put this guy on, we'll go here, plug in it. Turn it back, I'll remember what's switching that one. And then I think it was this guy. So if I remember correctly, we should have some blinkies everywhere, and we do. So now we sit back and relax and uh, wait for nature to take its course. And what will happen is everything will come back. Uh, we won't disturb anything. We'll have program on every console, and we'll have happy meters. So thanks for your patience, and stand by. So we had a total system restoration from a total power failure. Um, and if we had the Cisco's on the UPS, it would have been about a minute and 15 seconds of, uh, of off air time while the Wheatstone hardware connected. So that's one of the beauties of, of the Wheatstone system that the studios were up and waiting shortly, a minute and 15 seconds, but because I have the audio source plugged into the TOC coming through the core routers, we just had to wait a little bit, about, like I said, a little over seven minutes for that 3850 to come up. And then he fully connected. And as you can see, the system is exactly where we left it before I unpowered it. Thanks again for uh, watching another one of the Wheatstone videos here uh, on the KSL Bonneville system. And thank you for the folks at Bonneville for letting me show everybody your fine system. Thank you.